Uh, hello and welcome to another Eat Well Wednesday. Uh, this is the fifth week and this week's recipe is macaroni cheese with bacon and pine nuts. Uh, this does serve four people and it takes approximately 50 minutes. Ingredients wise, what you require is 50 gram of pine nuts, four slices of uh, pancetta or bacon chopped, uh, 400 gram of macaroni or other sort of short pasta, uh, 300 ml pot of double cream, 200 ml pot of creme fraiche, and 200 gram of gruyere or mature cheddar grated, plus two t tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Uh, also as a side what you can have with this is salad which is optional which we are using today so step one what we need to do is eat the oven to 200 degrees 180 if it's fan or gas mark six And then in the meantime, put, what we do next is we get our pine nuts. So let me just adjust the camera and let's turn the heater on this. Put it on a fairly high heat just to get it going. And I'm also going to put my water on. This is for our pasta. It should already be boiling water anyway. And then what we do is with our nuts, we put in our frying pan, so we don't need to crush them or anything. And we add approximately 50 grams. So about half of this packet. That should do. And then basically we gently fry them, dry fry them until they start to tell. So this takes roughly two to three minutes. Uh, then all what we do once we've done that is tip them onto a plate. Whilst that's happening, within our pan of boiling water, so let me just tilt the camera, we add our pasta. Now today I'm using Tichel, I think it's called, cheese shell. And we need roughly just 400 grams of this. That should do for that one. And we'll let that boil, as it says on the packet, for 8 to 10 minutes. And what I'm also going to do with this, and this is purely your choice, is just going to throw in a slab bit of salt. So while these are cooking, at the moment, our pasta and pine nuts, uh, I'll wait until they're done and then I shall be back for the next step. Welcome back. As you can see, with our pine nuts, they have started to crisp. I'm not cooking them any longer than that, so that took two, two to three minutes. And what we do with them is just add them to a plate or a dish. Then within this pan, with our bacon, which is four slices of either pancetta or just normal bacon, all what we're going to do is dry fry our bacon for a couple of minutes.
So we need to cook our bacon until it's crisp or starts to crisp. So once that's done, I shall be back. So as you can see, our bacon has stacked crisp just down, just how you want it. I did add a slight bit of oil to mine, just to get it fries better, basically. So what we do is just put that to one side. And then with another pan, so I'll turn the heat down as well because I didn't quite a high heat. So with this pan, I'm going to get my camera adjusted to how I want it. That's better. And I'll turn my pasta down since it's starting to boil up. So now with this one, what we add, so we gently warm up our double cream. So it says 300ml of double cream, which I'm just adding in there. We add 200ml uh, pot of creme fraiche. Which I'm just going to get a spoon to scrape it out. So I'm going to chip that in there. And then we had only half our cheese. A slight bit more. And then we slowly warm this up until the cheese is melted and it's all gently warmed through. So this is ultimately the cheese sauce. So I'm just gently melting that through. So once that's done, I'll show you the next step. So our sauce is complete, all the cheese is melted. I've got in a really low heat now. Just need to stir it so it doesn't burn. And then what we do with that is add two teaspoons of Dijon mustard a slight bit more and some seasoning so what I'm adding is a slight bit of pepper couple of mixed herbs and a slight bit of salt to this give that a good stir And then we just take that off the heat. So for the final step, what we need to do is get a large baking dish. So I'll just move my camera there. I've got two baking dishes. I've already drained my pasta anyway. And then basically what we do 
with our pasta I'm going to empty it back into our pan or better still let's do it slightly differently is add this to our sauce so we need a nice good coating Give that a good, good stir. Making sure each one is nicely coated. With that, we add to our baking dish. Spread it out slightly. And if you've only got small dip baking dishes like mine, I'm going to be using two. Add a few more in there. And then with this, we add on the top of it our toasted pine nuts, which we did early. And, and just remember, with anything like this, just remember to wash your hands. I did mine at the start. So just sprinkle them on top there. few more in this one and then sprinkle our bacon over the top it has cooled down by now so sprinkle our bacon and the same again with this one like that and then last but not least we sprinkle that with a bit of cheese so I'm roughly doing half in each one And then we put that in the oven. Now, to, for 20 minutes until it's golden and bubbling. So till that's done, see you soon. Uh, as you can see folks, uh, I've took it out the oven and it's nicely crisp and browned on the top. So yeah, this is macaroni cheese with pie nuts and bacon on top. So enjoy, till next week, take care and bye.